Hey. Welcome to the Weekly Dog Sports Bet Podcast Show. It's your boy Macko Scott, the man Russian. And I'm Gis Ali Mangu, the man of Taylor Street. Yeah, with the man today, and the, today the lineup is sick. We're gonna keep it short, sweet for him today. You know, we got a lot going on. We ain't off the rocks today. We got to do a little bit of work, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But the lineup is sick, you know. How, how, you know how you know how we're coming. Yes, but, indeed. Yes, indeed. And hey, before before <laughs> I, I go in, I go into what we got going on, we have a plan. Make sure y'all please like, subscribe, comment, share, follow. You know, yes, show all of that. Show us that love, baby. All of that. Like, yeah. comment, share, all of that good stuff. We got the links to below. So check in and catch y'all some good deals in the links. But man, let's go over the ladder today. What we got going on? We got those little dogs. We got those big dogs. Ooh, the, you know, dogs the, the, the underdogs. Dogs. The underdogs. Who we feel that's going to overcome obstacles this week. Yeah. And then following that, he's top five, top five. Top five. It's uh, C Red. You doing C Red today? Yo, C Red. Yeah, C Red. And then Bass Talk. Bass Talk. Yeah, we gonna we gonna keep it nice and sweet, just like that for y'all today. Uh, man, I want to get into these dogs first. What you think? Let's, let's go ahead and jump them right off. Yeah, these I'm dogs. Ready. I'm ready. Man, so little dogs this week. Dogs have been doing too good this man. week. Last week was pretty much we got eight up on the dogs, but this week I think we got a chance to do a little bit better. This week, and uh, I know we ain't been going over the best slips in the box scores, but hey, we got to keep it moving. How we shaking? How we shaking? So this week, little dog, I'm gonna kick it off this time. Okay, my little okay. dog, you know, what I'm saying my little dog this week, I'm kind of charged about. I'm going with the San Diego Chargers. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, y'all say the Chargers, Macko. Yeah, I'm going Chargers. with the Chargers, and I'm going with the Chargers for a reason. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Chargers have been under a lot of pressure lately. But they, I feel like they finally got the train rolling. They play in Detroit. They at home. They just beat up on the Bears. They just beat up on another weak team. I forgot who it was, but they, they did their thing on them. And uh, the defense looked good. Like, they came around. The offense is clicking. Justin Herbert's on the road. So, oh, yeah, they beat up on the Jets. That was the Jets. Yeah. Man, they beat up on the Jets. So, I feel like. Detroit is Detroit. We all know what Detroit bring. They bring a part of East Top Five, but I think, man, minus three, they at home. I mean, uh, plus three and a half, they at home. Is the uh, is the spread? The money line is looking is looking pretty decent. It's at plus one thirty five. So I'm taking the San Diego Chargers. My bad, the L.A. Chargers. Y'all know I be messing the names up. <laughs> I'm taking the L.A. Chargers on the money line for my little dog this week. I'm putting it in a parlay with something nice, and I'm finna check in. So that's my little dog. What you got going on, E? My little dog. My little dog is some of these other guys. They they gonna come up. It looks like they've been they've been doing fairly decent the last four weeks, and they got a new quarterback by the name of Dobbs. We're talking <laughs> about those Vikings. I'm going okay. the Vikings. I'm going with those Vikings over the Saints at home. Plus three, plus one twenty four is the money line. Uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm drinking the, I'm drinking that juice. I'm drinking that Vikings juice. Okay. I feel like, I, I feel like uh, they're about to overcome that NFC North. Uh, like you said, Detroit, they're in first place right now. But, man, um, Minnesota, they won, what, four straight weeks? Yeah, they four or five straight weeks. Um, Dobbs is, um, you know, they're enthusiastic. They Addison and Madison killing, you know. Defense is looking good. So, I'm loving it. The Minnesota Vikings over the Saints, plus three, you know. That's just, how, that's just how I feel. Right. I might not give you the stamp on that one because, you know, I ain't too keen with <laughs> the Vikings right now. They got the quarterback Dobbs, but I'm anxious to see how that turned out. I might take the plus three. I can't front. You know what I mean? I just, it's just something about the Vikings. I've always been rocking with them since back in the day. I used to draw the logo, but I ain't going to get it to my art skills because they straight trash like Bubba Doug say. <laughs> but my big dog, hopefully, it's not trash this week. You know what I mean? My big dog is real serious. So, Macko, you like over 29,000 <laughs> <laughs> on your big dogs. And, man, when I pick this team as a big dog, for some reason, they always put up a fight and let me down. But I'm going with the Texans again. Ooh, the Texans. <laughs> I'm going with the Texans again for the same reasons, man. CJ Stroud, that's my man. Oh, wait. I owe, baby, Ohio State. 
Pioneer the game, one of the best quarterbacks, guaranteed rookie of the year. And you bet in futures, you can put it in the books. He's going to be rookie of the year. They're going to give you good eyes, so I might not take that bet. But if you're in the futures and you want to make a decent flip, you can take that bet because it's better than putting your money in the bank. But this is not financial advice. I'm taking the Texas over. They playing Seattle. Now, I mean, no, they're not playing Seattle. They playing Cincinnati. My mm. bad. They playing the Bengals. Bengals been on the road. You know what I mean? They always taking out the big dogs. They just beat up on Buffalo last weekend. So how can I be taking the Texans over Cincinnati Bengals at home? I'll tell you how. Cincinnati, they got together. I feel like it's a mm. letdown game for them. I feel like it's a trap game for them. So the money line is plus 235. The spread is minus six and a half. It started out at minus seven. So Vegas already know what's coming. I was taking the seven and a half all day. I'm still going to take the six and a half, but I really feel like I'm going to take, take the money line. So I'm going to put, put two tickets together, cook me a little, a good, a little soup, and uh, take the money line because I feel like Texas, they got some players coming back in the game. They got C.J. Stroud. They kind of hit a stroll. Mm. He threw for a bunch of yards last week and a bunch of touchdowns. 474. You know, I, I kind of got the numbers off and wrong, but and they told me a stat. He drove me a stat the uh, Monday. Like, man, this yeah. guy got 14 touchdowns and one interception. So, man, it might, it might just be my luck that he throw three picks this week because every time I pick the Texans, they lose. But they one of my favorite teams. They got one of my favorite coaches, uh, D'Amico Ryan. So, I'm going with the Texans as my big dog this week. Interesting, interesting. I, I, I'm liking, I'm liking your big dog. I mean, I'm not too. I'm, I'm loving the Cincinnati, but I mean, it's a big dog, so you gotta, you gotta bark somewhere. Yeah, you gotta you go hard to go home. Bark, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna roll and roll right into my big dog, my little roof, roof, roof. These are big dogs. These are real dogs. We talking about them dog pound, that defensive dog Ooh. pound. We talking about the Cleveland Browns, the oh, Cleveland yeah. Browns over the Baltimore. Ravens on the road. I, I'm loving the Browns defense. Mm. Plus six and a half. Plus two forty. Oh yeah. The Browns over the Ravens. Now I know y'all thinking like, man, the Ravens is the East top five. Well, have been the East top five. How can you pick them as an underdog? That's what I was thinking. I feel like you know the Ravens is, is possible. This is, this is a trap game. It's, it's a divisional game. You know we we talking about a defense that's crazy. Both defenses are crazy, by the way. But I, I just feel like if there's a defense that can stop this Ravens offense, this running that game that they have, right. the Browns would be the team that can do it. Right. Plus six and a half. I love plus six and a half. I'm money line, I'm kind of E, but I got to pick a dog. So that's my big dog, the Browns over the Ravens, plus six and a half, plus 240. And there you go. <laughs> that's my big dog. Oh, the uh, dogs is out, baby. They out for y'all. Big dogs out. Dog if you don't pack like out. Dogs, bet against us. Dog, hey, bet against us. And before you bet against us, make sure you like, subscribe, and share to this content. If you want more of the dogs this week or next week or the coming weeks, check in with us, man. It's your boy Macro Scott, the man Russia. This is the weekly dog sports band podcast. And when we come back around on the next, we gotta pay some bills. We're gonna talk about that East South Five on East South Lee Mongo, the Mayor Taylor Street. I'm going to catch y'all on the next end. On the next end, baby. Check it out.